Hey everybody, it's Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, March 12th, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment in college basketball. Boy, so much has happened over the last 24 hours or so since last I was doing a video, and I know I'm coming to you a little bit late. Uh, around recording this around 4:45 a.m. Eastern, 1:45 a.m. Pacific, so won't be up by 5 a.m. Eastern. A little bit after that when you're watching this. Uh, but the bottom line is, is I just kind of been locked into watching what's going on. Are we going to have college basketball? Are we going to finish up the big dance? I know there's supposed to play with nobody in the stands, right? For now, it's perfectly fine, I guess, with us. I, I'm not a guy who panics on stuff like this. Uh, but at the same time, you have to be cautious. Cautious without panic. And um, so anyway, hopefully we'll get college basketball and we'll get March Madness, even if fans can't be in the arenas. We know what happened with the NBA. Rudy Gobert, an absolute imbecile. Uh, what he was doing, touching all the microphones and things of that nature. I guess he's got the mind of a two or three-year-old. Uh, and you saw the NBA having to shut things down last night after he tested positive. But what a geek. Uh, anyway, uh, so the NBA season suspended for now. We'll see if they pick it up in a few weeks. Uh, Major League Baseball still got a couple of weeks to go uh, to ha where they really have to make a decision. There is some talk that Major League Baseball season might uh, start the season a couple of weeks late. They're going to wait and see how things are going. So uh, they got a little bit of time left before they have to make a clear-cut decision. I do have somebody who's close to one of the teams in the NHL who told me he thinks, uh, this isn't for sure, but he thinks the NHL is going to follow the NBA's lead and suspend uh, the NHL season for now. We'll see if that comes to fruition on Thursday. As I mentioned, it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time. I'm not going to get to sleep until probably 5 a.m. Pacific time, so I'm sure that news on the NHL uh, will come out whether they're going to continue to play without fans or suspend the season by the time I wake up on Thursday. Uh, you'll probably know that info before I do. So that's where we stand right now. Going to keep capping college basketball. You know, be a little cautious. You know, for instance, I have two games on Thursday. If you want to jump on board, definitely check it out over at DocSports.com. But be a little cautious. I saw a couple of games last night out here on the left coast, on the west coast, after all the information started coming out about the NBA. Uh, we saw Fred Hoiberg, the coach of Nebraska, looking like he was about ready to collapse on the bench. They took him to the hospital. Uh, good news there is that Fred Hoiberg was diagnosed with the flu, not the coronavirus, uh, which you know is great not only for him and his players and everybody surrounding uh, that tournament in the Big Ten, but it also means we still have a, a little bit of a chance of the college basketball season playing through March Madness. If Hoiberg would have been diagnosed with the coronavirus, I, I'm thinking they just shut everything down on Thursday. So uh, that that is good news. We're also happy for Fred Hoiberg that he's you know, going to have to fight the flu, get over that, but not have the coronavirus. So that's everything that's going on right now. We still have NASCAR. We still have PGA uh, for now. We still have UFC for now, uh, boxing, and I'm involved in it all. So if you're still interested in jumping on board over at DocSports.com as these teams and these leagues play uh, day in, day out, I'm certainly over there every day. I'm going to continue capping. I have to. I bet for a living. I have to cap whatever is available every single day. Uh, so let's keep it going. Let's play maybe fewer games than normal, and that's what I'm going to do again on Thursday. I've only got two college basketball games. I do like one quite a bit. Five unit play. Uh, 13 and 5, 72% with our last 18 rated five stars or higher. Two plays in all over at DocSports.com in college basketball. One's a day game, and the five star play is an evening game, so you can check that out if you wish. And uh, now I want to get to our free pick here on this report. Yesterday, uh, we lost the full game free play. We did win if you jumped on board for that second half play, as I mentioned. If it's relatively close between Indiana and Nebraska at the half, then jump on board Indiana in the second half. We saw what happened. They took care of business. Uh, we got a full game play here, and it is on the battle in the Big East between Providence and Butler. Game time is currently scheduled as I uh, click on my computer here to make sure I give you the correct date uh, game time. Uh, they're going at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Pacific on Thursday's slate. And listen, Butler's not met expectations that they had before the season began. They've not met their expectations thus far. I do like the way Ed Cooley got his team turned around as he was able to fill out his team throughout the course of the season and the Friars biggest issues early on of the season was shooting two point accuracy to be exact but they fared better of late especially the last two games they've nailed 41 of the last 75 attempts inside the three point line uh, they scored 1.11 points per possession over the past six games so that was a definite improvement for PC listen they ranked 27th in the nation in adjusted defensive 
efficiency. I think they're going to give Butler some problems. And Butler, you look at Ken Palm's top 40, for instance, guess what? Butler's 2-6 and six straight up in their last eight against teams ranked in Ken Palm's top 40. Providence is part of that top 40. Uh, one of those losses, by the way, came against this Friars team for Butler. Uh, meanwhile, the Friars beat no less than five ranked teams in the month of February. Uh, that was only done like four times before Providence did it, where a team beat five ranked teams in a calendar month uh, during the course of the regular season. So they're playing their best basketball right now. Uh, they've won 12 of the last 16 meetings with Butler. We'll get it back Providence. That's our free pick for Thursday. Providence over Butler, Thursday's Big East Tournament. And uh, listen, whether they start to cancel more things or not, we will be back here on uh, Friday. And I'll make sure we're up by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our video, because by then we'll obviously know a lot more. All right, stay healthy, everybody. I do appreciate those of you who check out these videos every day, whether you click on the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Uh, listen, I don't care. That's your choice. If you want to subscribe, certainly do so. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Again, stay healthy. Let's put Thursday in the wind column right back here Friday morning.